Hey guys, in this video, I'm showing you how to make the new best mushroom farm in Black Tycoon. The old one was good, but something made it so that the block breakers just wouldn't work, and it just needed an update since it was made almost like 10 months ago, or just a long time ago. Also, on the thumbnail um, of the video, I kind of lied. Not on purpose, it was kind of on accident. It was like, um, I just didn't know that not everyone had like a six or seven times money multiplier. So, um, yeah, so I think that thing actually made like 70 million per minute. Um, and this one makes like 200 million per minute if you're on life three. So that's a lot better. Yeah, um, this is just the intro. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the build, but I'm just gonna say one more thing before we get into the build. Alrighty, so shout out to Crushy13 for commenting on my last video. Make sure to comment if you also want a shout out. And also join my Discord server. Link in description. We're doing giveaways. Uh, sometimes we do giveaways each week. Um, and also, if you get VIP in the thing, you can join me, just like Gordon Rat, in my videos. So, um, yeah. Wow, he has a really big farm going there. But yeah, let's get into the actual build now. Alrighty, so building this is actually really easy. Um, it looks kind of hard. But the only requirement really is that you have like maybe a billion money or like 500 million money or something. I don't know, maybe you don't need that much, but uh, also you have to be life 3. Uh, I'm life 107 so I can do it, but if you're not life 3, you better start watching some other Diamond RBX farms because this one ain't for you just yet. Um, but yeah, so also make sure you have some mushroom grass. To make this, um, you just need to... Uh, make a soil infuser farm and you just need some uh it's called soil well i mean yeah you just need soil um but yeah so let's get right into it so first thing you want to do is you want to get your mushroom grass out all right and you want to build a fair distance away from any other structures such as this thing and that thing you can probably build like really close to here i would probably build like maybe like three four blo blocks away and then you want to place three blocks mushroom grass like that all right you want to break the two so you just have one you should be able to like stand right under it like this all right and then you can build um basically as far as you want this way um just make sure you have room this way you should have like one two three four five six seven eight blocks about of a room um i would probably give it like 10 blocks just in case so i have mine about this long um i didn't count and then basically what you want to do is you want to um go every other block starting um the block over so like you leave a block and then you uh, place one here you want to go every other block and place one of these mushroom blocks and it should end like this it should end with a open one um, you do not want it to end like that that's bad um, you want to end like this uh, because then it makes it good for um, for this over here and also it makes the farm a little bit more efficient just by that much um, I don't know, you'll see why later and then what you want to do is you want to add just another row of mushroom grass right here and then what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to get a mushroom farm just like this all right and this is how you get a mushroom cluster so all you have to do is break and get this mushroom cluster right here as you can see i have a bit um and then once you do that you can just shatter this entire build right here um it doesn't matter also you get some free mushroom grass so you know, it's not too bad so once you have your one mushroom cluster place it there and you're going to be placing the mushroom clusters on each one of these little in, uh, dots in, this, in the middle right there. Um, and you see, if you look now, this is why we kind of did this little thing where we have to leave on an open block. Because, as you can see, it places here, here, on this line right here. And if we didn't uh, leave this open, we just had like the mushroom on this part, um, it would be less efficient. But yeah, so what you want to do now is you want to get a building block, such as a marble pillar. Alright, um, and then you want to start building on the side of this uh, mushroom grass. And you wanna do it on both sides because um, we're kind of going for symmetricalness here. And then you wanna get your observers right here. All right, and you wanna place the observer two so that's facing towards the, uh, like this. Like you see the green part is on the end and it's facing towards the other end. Okay, and you wanna do this on both sides. Then you wanna break the bottom block just like this. All right, and then what we wanna do is we wanna get another block facing it this way. All right, it should be facing towards this green one. All right, and you just wanna place a bunch of these all the way until the end, like this. All right, so now as you can see, it should be making this uh, this clock right here, that's what it's called. Um, and you wanna do this on both sides. And the reason we're doing this first is because um, if we don't do it first, we're not gonna be able to even place these observers down because um, as you can see if I do this you can't place a block on top of these so they have to be swinging or you have to place the observers first um, 
So the observer's first, so just the easiest way. So that's why we're doing this. And then you can just start placing your blocks. Um, and if you want, you can remove these clusters or your cluster um, for now. We don't actually need it just yet, and it probably will just get in the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get rid of all of my mushroom clusters. All right, so once you've done that, this is kind of just the first layer. So what you wanna do now is you want to get a, um, well, you can use normal conveyors or you can use fast conveyors. Um, I'm just gonna use fast conveyors. So um, you have to be life two for this, but it doesn't matter because you have to be life three to even be at this point. What you, want, what you want to do is you want to place the conveyors right here, just so that they're under the little black dots. All right, and we just place them all the way to the end. All right, and then we want to place just right there, so that um, uh, you know the conveyors on the other conveyor. You want to place it sideways. You want to place three of them like this, um, and you have to place on the conveyors, or else it doesn't work too well. And then you want to place one conveyor facing that way. So it should look like this right now. So these ones are going this way, these ones are going this way, and this one going that way. Um, and you want to copy that on the other side, and just like that. Alright, so this is now this entire part. This is like the catching system. As you can see, you only need this one catching system, because they just drop. They don't like bounce off towards that direction, they just, you know, they stay forward. Yes, yeah, so now what you want to do is you want to get item filters, alright? And you want to place the filter block right here so that the green is um, on this side so like the conveyor pushes into the green and then what you want to do is you want to get your clusters and you want to uh, place them so that uh, you know the filter block the red part has their picture there so I think on mobile you just click on it and on PC you press F all right and then you want to get a chest out or the chest Okay, you want to place a chest um, here, but also um, for some reason on the on this filter block it's really annoying. You have to place stuff up like that because you can't place directly onto the filter block. So you want to get the cluster right next to the chest, um, so that when like clusters go here, they go mm, and then they go straight into your inventory. Um, and then you want to place like this. You want to place three more um, placing spots, and you want to place the green facing into this, which is like that. All right, you want to place those three. All right, um, so now we have these extra three uh, things right here. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have every type of mushroom. So there's green, purple, red, teal, and yellow. You want to make sure you have all of those right now. So if you have to place your uh, cluster block right now and just wait, uh, you should probably be doing that because we need all these right now. Um, and you only need one of each one. It's not like you need like 6,000 like I do because um, all we're doing is telling the filter blocks what they're actually filtering for So we just need to set the filter for each one and also um, There's going to be an extra one that isn't used. Uh, just don't use it. Just leave the ones closest to the end All right, and then speaking of the end uh, just place a chest and yep oh, I'm stupid, but you have to build up like this all right and now what we want to do is we again have to build up which is kind of annoying all right and then you want to build a little three by three right here and then over here on this side we want to build a two by two just like that so it should look like this all right and we don't need this bottom part um it's just kind of there all right um and then what you want to do is you want to get normal conveyors and this has to be normal conveyors if it's fast conveyors it'll mess it all up and i've tried it um it if you want it to work with fast conveyors, it has to be this part has to be like really big, which is kind of annoying. And it just works fine without it, so there's no point really having it. And then you want to place it, um, your conveyors like this, as you can see. So we have the red one just has one facing out, and then the purple one is one facing um, this way, and then two facing out, and then this one has the green one has two facing uh, towards me, and then three facing out. So as you can see, they all kind of have like their own lane. Um, and same here, this one just has one lane, just like that. Alright, and now what you want to do is you want to get your mushroom compressors out. And you want to place them so that the end is just like that. Alright, and you want to place this on every single side, just like this. Alright, and then you want to get your chest out, and uh, unfortunately you do have to build up for this, just like that. Alright, um, so now this part is basically done. Um, there's just a couple more things that I'd like to add. Um, well, just for this part. This this is not done yet. Uh, don't leave yet. Um, but one thing that I should add, uh, you know, for you guys, 
your guys' uh, well-being going into the future with this farm is you if you have glass or any a lot of any building block you want to do what i did here and you want to build like a shield just like this on this uh, chest right here so just like this all right and this is because when the blocks bounce when the blocks are like or not the blocks the mushrooms are here they bounce they go here oh i said that wrong okay they go here they bounce up and then they like go here and if it's not a green one it'll completely clog the area so you want to build up a bit with your blocks or just as high as you're going going to go so i'm just going to go this high um i don't know if i'll go this high but it's kind of whatever um so yeah now i have this like face mask i guess you know, this part separate from this part um and yeah so now what you want to do is you want to place all of your clusters once you have all that done because we're going to be going on to the placing part um or like layering part so you would do want to have all your clusters right now so um by the way the way you get clusters is just by placing a cluster and then eventually a cluster will just spawn another cluster and then that's why we have these two chests right here um because the clusters go straight into your inventory and as you can see it's already working um i'm getting some of these you can see the numbers changing um so yeah now all we have to do is do the layering so what you want to do is you want to get your grass your mushroom grass all right you want to get your block breakers you want to get your observers and you want to get any building blocks so this one's fine all right um and also you want your mushroom clusters okay so what you want to do is you want to place your mushroom grass over here and you want to build another line on the observers just like this all right and then you just place on the mushroom clusters just like this all right oops and if you misplace you can just break it doesn't matter um okay and then you want to place your mushroom clusters again all right and then you can start placing okay now that you have your breakers on the bottom it doesn't matter you don't need to place the breakers on top or not breakers observers my bad um so this should be fine just placing it like this all right so you can place the block breakers on the observers all right and this is only for this layer next layer we'll be, we're going to be doing something different so now we have two block breakers or two uh, layers of block breakers we have the bottom one and the top one all right and now this is where the error comes in okay when these block breakers have two layers of observers would so be this one and then the one that we're supposed to be putting on top um, when they have both um, it kind of just like breaks the game and the block breakers just don't break you know they're stationary so to solve that what I've done is we're going to be placing just a normal block right here for this layer all right so then look like this all right and then all you have to do now is just place your observers just like you did on the first layer it's like this all right and then you just go over here make sure the greens facing the green and then we just build this all the way till the end all right and then all we have to do is place those block breakers right here okay and then we just have to do the same thing on this side all right and then once you've had this next layer well that has like you know the normal blocks um you can start placing this um this mushroom grass again all right and then once you have the mushroom grass like the sides place you can place in the middle like this all right and then you just place your clusters again just like it's a normal layer all right and then um for the next layer it's the same exact thing as on the bottom one we just start placing our block breakers all right and then after this um the rule goes if you're going to place a layer of observers and there is block breakers under those observers and if those block breakers have observers under them then you cannot place observers above the block breaker probably sounds complicated but basically that's just saying um you can only have layers like this so hopefully everyone understands um if you don't i'll try to help people out in the comments um but basically that's it that's completely it for the farm it's basically done um i do have a bunch of chests under here uh, because occasionally stuff does fall as you can see um if you do want to halt clipping because as you can see sometimes it clips you just want to place blocks like this 
under all these parts right here um and yeah so as you can see nothing's really falling through anymore it looks like it is but it's not um but yeah so that that's just it you know we're done this is the whole farm Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope everyone understood how to do this farm. Um, it is a little bit complicated, maybe with uh, the how the layering works. Um, but yeah, as I said, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them in comments. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and see ya.